The 5AA Sports Show. Stephen Rowe and Mark Bickley. Weekday afternoons from four on Adelaide's 5AA. Xavier Dersma last night was nominated as the Round 6 NAB Rising Star after he had a great game. 24 disposals against the Kangaroos and he joins us now. Xavier, congratulations and welcome to the show. G'day guys, thanks for having me. Well done, Our young pleasure. Man. Hey, six games out of six, you're playing great footy. Do you feel like you're living the dream? Yeah, no, it's, it, is, it is pretty exciting, um, you know, getting that dream. Playing round one was, was pretty amazing, let alone six games. So I'm just really enjoying everything and, um, you know, we're winning, which is making it all better. So, what? you know, everyone's up and about and the whole club's Mm. Yeah, like in a really great spot at the minute, so I, I can't really complain about anything. <laughs> exactly right. I was just going to ask, what were your expectations? You get drafted and you have a, a thought in your head, I guess you're hoping you're going to play a bit, but did you did you think you would be there at round one? Um, I obviously made it my, my top priority and my goal to play round one. Um, but you just never know. You never know like what it's going to be fully like until you get there. But um, you know, as soon as I got there, you know, I started to try and get as comfortable and you know get as much respect as I could. Um, and yeah, straight away I just tried to make it my goal to play round one and then play as many games as I could from there. Congratulations, young man. Um, I'm a bit of a nickname man. So what do we call you during this interview, Xavier Dersma? Well, oh, probably probably X or Ders. I X. Say, okay, like here that. we go. X. You're covering some ground, mate. Um, what 15 plus kilometres a game, and and your game times around 85 percent for a young colt in his first year, let alone first six games. They're massive numbers. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, I think I've run a couple of times over 16 or 17 wow. at the minute. But, um, yeah, it is. I, I've been much of a runner my whole life. been always doing cross countries and uh, some stuff like that. My mum was a very good runner. She ran for Australia when she was 18 or 19 in the cross country. So she's a very good runner as well, which I, is where I probably get it from. Brilliant. But, um, yeah, I've just been able to probably get that from her. And uh, I've worked hard at my pre-season running. And uh, that's probably been our uh, health how I've been able to cover so much ground and be so durable. Mum's been a bit of a, uh, a, a legend for you. you got to touch the Fred Astaire's about your two X. What's that, sorry? You're a dancer. You would yeah, know who yeah, Fred Astaire correct. is, but you, you move like him. You do a bit of tap, what jazz, ballet, what do you do? Yeah, I've done all of them. So jazz, tap, ballet, hip-hop, a uh, bit of everything. So, yeah, no, it's been a really good influence on me and, um, you know, the discipline as well as, you know, Flexibility, core strength, and, and balance as well. So, you know, it's all, it's all, you know, and coordination, which is probably the biggest thing. But uh, it's been a very good influence on my life, and I've loved doing it for, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 years. Mm. So, so, are you keeping it up here in Adelaide? Uh, no, I can't really do it anymore. I don't really have much time to, to do it, but uh, I'll go back home and watch um, concerts and everything uh, in, in summer holidays. Yeah, okay. Well, what's, what's your favourite? What's my favourite? Oh, I'd probably say. Or in modern or hip hop, I'd say would be my favourite. Can you do that rap stuff where you spin around on your head? <laughs> oh, I can't do that stuff, but I can I can do some other other kind of stuff. I'm not that, I'm not that good at my head. Well, I don't look, want to hurt my neck. If, if, the, if, the footy, if the footy keeps going, you're a Monty well, for Dancing with the Stars, Xavier. We well, can't wait for that. We'll, we'll get you in oh, there, Rick. Maybe, so, maybe one day. Maybe you might see me out there one day. So the goal celebration, and that, that's been a part of your, your, your footy and your makeup all the way through? I, mean, I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I, I got pretty excited uh, on the weekend, but I have been doing it for most of my goals this year um, and, and last year as well in under 18s, but um, I just love a bit of flair and love a bit of excitement, so that's, I think that's what I bring to the okay. team and that's what I want to try and keep doing, so I, lots of people seem to be liking it, so uh, I'll just yeah. keep doing it. Got a touch of the Robin Hoods about you? Yeah, yeah the Robin Hood, or the, the, what, I, what I probably got it from was the NBA, the Reggie Jackson and Jamal Murray kind of uh, celebrate thing, but yeah, a lot of people it is it is a bit like that, and they they do relate to the Robin Hood kind of stuff, which is also good. I reckon you could just add to it. You know, when you pull the arrow out, could oh, you could you sort of lick the little uh, oh, feathers no. on the end of it? You know how the, I think that's what Robin Hood just <laughs> do just before you fire it off. I can I can def, I'm take I can take uh, I can take improvements. So I can definitely. Uh, X. Yeah, I can take some improvements. <laughs> nah, don't listen to Uncle Mark here, X. <laughs> hey, we got a mile in office furniture text just came through on the back of that. Connor Rose in Zach Butters had an interesting um, face touch celebration, Bev is saying. What was that all about? I'm actually not too sure what that one was about. I'll have to go and ask them, but I, I, I did see it and I did question it during the game. Jeez, I wonder what that is. 
I actually have no idea, so I'm going to go and ask them and I'll get back to you. Mm. Hey, um, I read the AFL Bible and it described you before you played a game as a defender slash midfielder who um, uh, you know, talked about your running capacity. You've played predominantly as a forward, a high half forward. Is, is this a little bit new for you or have you played forward elsewhere in your career? Oh, I've played mostly as a winger, but I have played forward occasionally this year, but mostly it's as a wing. Um, but I've, I've mostly played as a mid and a defender throughout my career. I can occasionally go forward, but I still like to kick goals. I think I'm more of a goal-kicking mid if I do kick goals. But, mm. um, yeah, I, I've been playing mostly off the wing this year. So, Good. I mean, that's, that's probably the best spot there to get good running numbers. That's probably why it's helping me. Outstanding. Now, have you got a mentor at the club? Yeah, I certainly do. Stevie Motlop, and uh, he's been fantastic for me, as well as Travis Boke. So, I mean, they're two pretty good, pretty good uh, mentors to have. Stevie's been fantastic in terms of you know, encouraging me to, to get the ball and take the game on and tuck it under my arm and take people on. So, you know, that's what I've been trying to do as much as I can. And I think it's been working. I've been, you know, running, carrying, breaking lines because, you know, that's what he does. And he's very creative and very damaging player. So I think that's pretty, you know, pretty pretty helpful for my footy because I want to try and be that game-winning and match-winning type player as well as a consistent one. So uh, Stevie's been great for me, but also Travis, Travis Bokes has been fantastic, you know, the way that he's always the last one off the track, he's meticulous about his preparation, he's you know, making sure he's doing all the extras, his ice bars, everything like that. And that's what Brilliant. I want to be like. So you Brilliant. know, those two have been fantastic for me. Ex Xavier Dersma, Round Six Neb Rising Star nomination. Mark Bickley's gonna ask you a series of questions. It's thanks to ninety nine bikes. First thing comes in your head, away you go. Time for ninety nine seconds with Rowie and Bix. Thanks to 99 Bikes for Australia's biggest range. Prospect, Mile End, Marion, Westlakes, College Park and Modbury. Let's ride. Okay, Xavier, here we go. If you could be an animal, what would you be and why? Peacock, uh, because I like to show off. <laughs> That's... Fa- favourite movie? Oh, uh, Star Wars. How long does it take to get ready in the morning? 10 minutes. Best subject at school? Uh, English. If you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Actor. <laughs> Cricket or tennis? <laughs> uh, neither. What's your go-to reality show? Oh, I hate reality TV. Good okay. boy. Love you already, X. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Last okay. time you wore a suit, did you wear socks? Okay. Yeah. Rich and ugly or poor and good-looking? Ooh. Poor and good-looking. Would you prefer to sign an autograph or take a selfie? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good a driver are you? 7. Say something in another language. Ni hao. Yeah, good boy. You're off to China. Cats or dogs? Neither. I hate them both. <laughs> oh, yeah. Favourite pizza <laughs> topping? What was that? Sorry? Favourite pizza topping? Uh, salami. Who would play you in a movie about your life? Oh, I... Depth. Fred Astaire. Baby. NFL or NBA? NBA, 100%. Sunrise or sunset? Uh, sunset. BT or Bruce? <laughs> and, uh, after BT stitched me up, I'd have to go Bruce. <laughs> he did stitch you up, X. Favourite emoji? Uh, the angry emoji. <laughs> sunrise or, or sun... The lightning bolt. Or the lightning bolt. Or the lightning bolt. Oh, and so, yeah. uh, final one, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cool are you? Uh, I'd go a seven. Oh, yeah, I reckon, I reckon you're selling yourself a bit X, short. you're maybe. selling yourself short, mate. <laughs> Ra- round six, Nab Rising Star nomination. I think there's going to be two or three more Port Blokes this year. You're building something special down there. You're a big part of it. Keep it going, mate. Keep up that form, and thanks for your time. No, thank you very much for having me on the show. It's been fantastic. So thank you. <laughs> Great, man. Uh, Xavier, thank you. You've been a breath of fresh air. We love talking to young kids. Great enthusiasm, and that reflects the way he plays. My his footy. word. The 5AA Sports Show. Stephen Rowe and Mark Bickley. Weekday afternoons from 4 on Adelaide's 5AA.